I thought I wasn't gonna want to play this that much. I thought I was gonna boot it up for like a second and be like, okay, I'm not drunk enough for this, but... This is just an expert way of wasting time. I could play this till the sun rises. How many push-ups can I do? One million and one? And if you tell me that you can do one million and two, you're lying. You're just saying that because I said one million and one. You can't, you can't do a million and three. You're, you're just saying that because I, I mentioned a million and two. You can't do a million and three. You're lying. Hmm, I can do, I can do a million and twenty. So, that's it. Stop there, because you guys can't do any more than that. I know you can't. You're lying. You can't do a million and twenty-one if you're lying. You're just saying that. I'm gonna call my mom. I'm gonna tell my mom. Is the Bulfango mask different for girls? So your face sticks out? That's really weird. Stop saying you just know! It doesn't make any sense! You, there's nothing to know, it's just a fucking pig head! That's Velocipro- Oh, that looks hot! it again. Uh, I have a Wii U because I played the shit out of uh, Monster Hunter 3 U on it. And also, I was one of the few people that didn't complain about the Mario that was on it. I liked the one Mario with the cat suit. That was like my first real 3D Mario game that I bought of my own volition and played. <laughs> I, I liked it a lot. I think I beat it. I fought Bowser. I don't know if that means you beat it, though. You, you think he puts on a cat suit? <laughs> right to saving the day again. That's right. Raitha is a fantastic character designer when he has someone put looking over his shoulder and saying, Okay, relax. Alright, hey, turn that, tone that down a bit. Okay. Those won't fit in our game. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Those won't fit in our game. <laughs> Chill with the ribcage, dude. I like the two, uh, like, sister, the vanilla chocolate girls from Valkyria Chronicles 2. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're basically, uh, the, the brown ones basically shoot then. I want to shoot in Boji! Bring, being a greatsword user is suffering against these tiny enemies in this game. Don't you go nowhere! Alright. Kill him! Kill him, Simon! Take him out! That's exciting, because in this game, they actually do no damage. Tiddo! I get my food now. Now I'm gonna get that young potato and some wild bacon. That's what they called your mom and dad in high school. You know, veg and meat are supposed to give you attack up, but I think that's only at higher levels. <laughs> Cause now it's just giving me a tummy ache. Wild bacon implies domesticated bacon. Yeah, like this right here. Wild mutton, if you will. Big jump, baby. Pig flip. Double whammy. Let's go. It's pretty exciting. You have to admit. Oh my god! I just remembered Lao Shan Lung is in this game, baby. Lao Shan Lung is in this game, Shen Gao Ren is in this game. I say that like I'm excited because I am to revisit them, but then you actually play them and it's like the worst fucking fight of all time. <laughs> 15 Mounters. 
detriment nerves right here. Oh. Well, I was about to throw this can of LaCroix into the hallway. Thought it was empty. It's basically full. That would have made me flip. I would have started breaking shit. I mean, it take. Mmm. The beauty. Take it in. Look, man, you guys always do this when I bring up La Croix. I was drinking LaCroix back before it was cool and hipsters were doing it, because my daddy always used to buy it. So it may be Stockholm Syndrome, but to me, it is comforting. I don't think LaCroix is shit, but like I said, I mean, it might just be me, you know? Yeah, Con, he, he's already been banned. He's been ban evading for a while, so... I was kind of just letting him go. Everyone is allowed to have their own opinion on my stream. I don't I don't care what you have to say, but you can't just don't spam, you know. It's one one rule. Just don't spam. At least make coherent statements. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. You stupid son of a bitch. Well, that just, I just took out half his life. Okay, yeah, the guy who just said fuck LaCroix, you're banned now. Oh, you didn't like that smackaroon? You did, yeah. You know, I was thinking I should have paintballed that Velocidrome. And that's it. I was thinking I should have paintballed the Velocidrome, and I did Shouldn't have let that Velocidrome get away. Are you guys seeing your dad? You know, the Velocidrome just keeps fucking running around all the time. It's probably better just to stay here, honestly. Ah, I told you waiting here was a good idea. Come and get it. Ow! Oh, he's confused. Now he's even more confused. Okay, can beat up. Yeah, I really thought that I was not gonna have fun with this game for, ex for like, an extended period of time. Unless I was drunk. But I'm having a great time. Do I consider myself to be a cum taku? Yeah. Yeah. Finally, someone asked a question that makes sense. Classic chat. Bring up cock once, you just can't get it out of your mouth. Oh, Kongalala? Uh oh. Stinky. Oh, I forgot this fucker was in the game. Better than a Gendrome. <laughs> Let's go fight ourselves a Kongalala, shall we? I'm not gonna go get a trap or anything. I should be fine, right? What, what's he gonna do? Kill me? What, is he gonna cart me? Uh-oh! Where would the Kongalala cutscene be? Probably in Area 3. Yes, I'm going to say without a doubt the Kongalala cutscene is in Area 3. Yep. Yeah. Let me find some appropriate royalty-free music for this fight. Fart music. Fart music. Playlist. <laughs> what the fuck is this?
those. That was awesome. Dang, this guy almost killed. syllables like was the first one. It was like 39 seconds long and it said fart music so I clicked on it. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a playlist. Dude, that drop was nasty. Dude, that drop was nasty. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> you know you know that thing like you see in movies where kids like fart in a cupped hand and then they throw it at you? I, I always thought, saw that on TV when I was younger, and I thought it was like bullshit. I was like, you can't do that. You can't control the airwaves like that with a cupped hand, you know? And, um, boy, I found out the hard way. I was at a sleepover when I was like 11 or 12 at my friend's house, and we were all playing with his toys. He got like, he had like a bunch of Captain America toys and shit. We were watching Ninja Turtles or something. And, um, he had a bigger brother. I didn't- I didn't grow up with an older brother. When you- when you grow up with an older brother, you learn a lot of gross shit and techniques. <laughs> and he, His bigger brother taught him some crazy shit that I didn't know existed. He cuffed his hand and farted into it, and I leaned- I leaned forward like- he was like, Hey, don't check this out! And I leaned forward like, Ooh, what are you gonna do? Throw it at me? I've seen this. It doesn't work. Yeah. After he does that, he hunkers it back. And then he takes his other hand, pro move, and cups it over his cupped hand where the fart is. And he holds it down next to his waist, and he shoots it out like a Kamehameha into my fucking face. And I almost, I almost ralphed, I was like, oh. I was like, I didn't think that fucking worked! He was like, what do you mean? Of course it works. And it was fucking disgusting. My crusty Hameha. I'm kinda lucky with this RNG, because if he charges me, I just might die. Oh, not anymore. He's not angry anymore. I haven't heard the term Ralph since 2012. I was in my, I was in my little kitty mood. I'm gonna Ralph, bro. I'm gonna freaking Ralph. Mission Control, we have lost the Kongalala. 
Mission Control, Mission Control. The Conga Lala has ceased to exist. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't been paintballing because I've been forgetting. I've, been play I've played too much World. I haven't played one of these old ones in a long time. Oh, hey, man, I didn't even know you were here. I was looking for some Earth Crystals, dog. Later, skater! <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Hey, Vaughn viewer, did you shit today? I think it's I think it's a humor that I can visualize easily. Just absurd scenarios that makes me laugh. Simple scenarios. Like, imagining one of you watching a stream and seeing someone in the chat say, Hey, Vaughn viewer, did you shit today? And then just going, Oh my god, I haven't. Let's get the sudden urge to shit. My shits have been absolutely primo lately. Man, I'm eating nothing but fresh veggies and fruits and oats and beans and legumes. My sh I haven't had alcohol. My shits are perfect. Pristine. Would you like to know more?